Start reading in Swedish. Start reading in Swedish. Okay, so I decided that um, maybe a new a new way of studying Swedish is reading some books. I have several books uh, in Swedish, and so uh, I will start with this one, um, Ernest Hemingway. It's a it's a shorter one, and uh, I'm not so much of a heavy reader. <laughs> Never was really, uh, but I used to read. I used to read a lot of philosophy. So uh, I realized that I know a lot of um, a lot of uh, Swedish vocabulary in a passive way. So I will be able to understand, um, of course, not everything, not even seventy five percent of it, but at least fifty percent of it, sixty percent of it, I will be able to understand, and sometimes even more. So what will I do? I will read, start reading this. So by the time I have read, like let's say. Uh, and and then I was I was thinking about noting down every word and expression unfamiliar to me in a piece of paper. But then I realized because I'm uh, I'm very 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 I don't know um, very attached to my books, so I don't underline books. But those are second hand books, and since I need to note down a lot of things, maybe it's better for me that I I just grab a pencil and underline it. So I will underline. Uh, every word and even expressions uh, that are familiar to me, and there will be a lot of them. And uh, and doing that, I can even underline uh, grammar constructions. And then, by the time I have read, like let's see, let's say, twenty five pages, then I will spend um, the time needed to to uh, to study those words and expressions from those twenty five pages, and then. I will read like twenty five pages more, and then I will uh, I will study I will study the words and the expressions are familiar to me. So I will use my Swedish Portuguese Portuguese Swedish dictionary, which is pretty good. And I say I don't underline things, but in this case, I had, back in the old days, I did it. So, anyways, it was a bad idea because um, I believe that learning expressions doing something like learning word doing something like this so we have what we have here 50 words per, per page without being related to anything at all see we forgot much more maybe we forget we can for we will forget a lot of this and then i believe it's a, a better approach if i start reading and then by the time i finish this book it doesn't mean that i have to read another book right away by the time I finish this book, I can go back to to uh, SML and do ten more lessons, ten lessons more, ten lessons more, or I can go back to let's say um, I can grab a phrase book and start learning uh, some set phrases or whatsoever, or I can go back to colloquial and. Like that, I won't be so bored, I believe. So, I believe that starting reading, start reading Swedish will be... Reading in Swedish will help me a lot to improve my vocabulary and to understand better grammar, to get a better understanding of grammar. And then, I will study grammar more in depth. So, I believe it's a good advice for you guys too, if you're studying a language and you want to make progresses, you want to make... Faster progresses, uh, progress. I believe it's it's best for you guys if you do this too. See you guys then.